And Alyssa, good morning. We're live at State and Wells where I actually just saw a public works worker put up this barricade here and officially shut down this section of state. That extends down to Clinton Street and will last for the next two months. And this is all part of a project that has been worked on for more than two years now. Now over the past several months workers have been preparing the new section of street and bridge just south of the existing road. This phase of the project will allow crews to tie in those new sections that will finish elevating and straightening state over Spy Run Creek. It's all with the goal of reducing crashes around the severe curve that's caused traffic problems for years. That, of course, has been the main objective of the project, but there are several other aspects being worked on as well. Crews will continue building and improving storm sewers, sidewalks, and the trail that will follow alongside State. That work and the new closure will last for about two months. After that, the project will enter the final phase, which includes aesthetic touches like lighting, restoration, and landscaping. It's all expected to wrap up this fall. Now, the Public Works Department does acknowledge the inconvenience the new closure will cause. They've outlined a detour using Wells, Fernhill, and Clinton, or you can always find your own way around the closure as you head out for essential travel. Now, as I mentioned, again, that is closed now, uh, at least from this direction. Uh, heading east on state so you're gonna definitely have to find that new route you can take it a closer look at that detour map that we just showed you on Wayne.com that's where you'll also find more details about this project as a whole we're live at state and wells this morning Michael Kuhn Wayne 15 news